Oh, there we go. Good pot. Bought some of this blue crab fuel made by Potski.com. Team Potski. Potski. Pot. I don't know. I can't say I'm right. Who knows? Check it out. We're gonna try it. It says you can soak fuel rags, chamois, socks, etc. 12 to 24 hours before placing in the trap. Doing so allows the attractant to immerse itself in the cloth for maximum results. You can also put it on your baits. We might try to soak it in some shrimp heads, try that too. But I got some socks here. If you ain't got holes in your socks, you ain't no crabber. Look at that. We're gonna soak these up real good. Get this Potski special to work its magic. Doesn't smell too bad. Let me shake it up real good. Maybe all the goodness is on the bottom. I think it probably says shake well. Yep, shake well. Pour a little bit of this off and I'm gonna keep shaking it. Try to get all the goodness. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a crazy blue car. Neat, neat looking stuff. Well, I guess socks pretty well coated. If I'm not doing it right, feel free to comment. A little more on air for good measure. Just like J.O., you can't ever have too much. Also got some of this crab trap bait, long lasting. Aquatic Nutrition Incorporated. Bait dissolves slowly and sends attractants for long distance. Says it's, oh, it's helpful in catching shrimp, crab, and lobster. We're gonna try some of this too. So I'm gonna put these uh, socks in here for, I guess it'll be 36 hours, something like that tomorrow. We'll get out and give both of these a try, let them sit, we'll sit for a couple days in the pots, see what we see. Should've been here yesterday, we had a balloon battle. He was live streaming on TikTok. He was so we were on at the same time, and somebody was like, yeah, we saw you throwing balloons at him. Yeah, it made my day. <laughs> I was having a ball. <laughs> yeah, Mickey's going out of town this week, next week, and then we'll get the retaliation from the balloon. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll miss <laughs> that. You'll miss that. <laughs> yeah, I'll miss that. Good time. I mean, he's got to be playing something. He ain't, ain't going to let that go. I mean, he came by shooting us the moon one day, come by blasting that horn all day. We were just getting back. We're just, uh, we're just trying to help keep them hydrated. I got some bait from Bass Pro. We're going to try this uh, crab trap bait. It's even got a blue crab on it. Also like a stone crab claw there. Stone crab, spiny lobster, dungeon ash crab. Yeah, all kind of. So we're going to give it a try. We'll put it in a couple different crab pots. And this one was that other bait. We soaked these socks in it. And we're going to put... Uh, really doesn't smell too bad. Put them in the trap and see how they do. Maybe we'll pour some of that liquid on the um morning. How are we? Good. Morning, morning. How's it going? Better than ever. <laughs> I, I forgot to get it yesterday. Did you get your phone back? Which one? Oh yeah. From Which yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yesterday he shows up, he left his phone at 7 Eleven. <laughs> Five <laughs> colors this week. You just want to get rid of that phone, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> where, where is it? It is in my book bag. Where is Chris's phone? <laughs> this what is was how the it old comes uh, the boat from now on? What, what right was here. The, what was that uh, soap opera? Uh, as the uh, as the world turns. As the world turns. Where is Chris's phone? <laughs> Bottom of the Chesapeake, Seven <laughs> Eleven, <laughs> Royal Farms. <laughs> Uh, funny enough. Hey, it comes back. You must love me. This is a smaller shrimp. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, tiny, tiny heads. Yeah, they're the pressed ones. They're catching them now. Where are we heading today? Below the ranch. No refrigeration required. Yeah, that, that smells lovely. 
And then the next question, not for human consumption. Did they do that because somebody somebody ate it? It's like a pate. If you know what to put it with, it's not bad. <laughs> it's all about how you prepare. Do it in the last, last three in pods. Don't put it too that. Don't catch not to cost me money. What? No, no, it's at the very end. Weird. It's like some kind of, I don't even know what. <laughs> it says uh, fish, fish oil, shrimp, squid, and other highly attractive items. I like that wording. Items. Highly attractive items. Doesn't have much smell to it. Just the smell, supposedly. Like the scent. So once they start eating it, they're going to stop. I just think it attracts them. It attracts them in. Pods have four or five crabs in them. Six crabs, some nice crabs here. Flip it over, Mickey. I got it. What's that? Now we're going to do a uh, Baited that one? Yeah. We got crab trap bait, shrimp. And we're gonna have sock, shrimp.
Well, we're back here uh, four days later in Chesapeake Bay. We're down here below the bridge. We're going to check these pots that have uh, the weird bait in them, the blue liquid and the crab trap bait, the sausage-looking stuff, nasty-looking stuff. We baited one pot in there with shrimp. I had a pot here going the other way in a different row. I just checked, had a bunch of crabs in it, so should be crabs in them if, they're, if the bait works. We'll see. I think this first pot has... Uh, the blue liquid soaked sock. We'll see. I think what I'm gonna do is take the socks and fill them up with shrimp. And try that too. We'll see if uh, see if the sock uh, will hold the shrimp and help uh, make it last longer. First pot. Now nah, the first pot must have been the. Uh, the crab trap bait. That was crab trap bait. So one crab there. We got two pots with the crab trap bait. Two pots with the socks. One with uh, just shrimp. And then one with shrimp soaked in uh, blue liquid. Here we go. Is that just shrimp? Yeah, it was just shrimp. Bunch of crabs. That was shrimp soaked in juice, probably. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Sock, the old sock pot has a couple crabs in it. Interesting. Not, dirty socks, not, some crabs. Yeah, dirty socks. Not, uh, doesn't have any blue liquid left at all. Dirty. We're gonna take and fill it up with, uh, fill it up with shrimp. See if it catches any more crabs than just the shrimp. Break down nice and slow. We'll see. Not too much. Might not be able to get into the bait well. I know. Might have to wait and put that in a tall bait well. We'll see. We're always trying something. What the heck? Break up the monotony of the day. This one looks like shrimp. What's that? Nah. That was the crab trap. Nah, that, that was the, the crab trap bait. That had what, two crabs in it? Oh, there's, a, there's the end of it. This looks like another, another sock. It's only got one crab and a dead crab. So, looks like just the shrimp is way out catching everything else. Another one that's... Uh, That might be another crab trap bait. I don't see any shrimp in it. Now we're into just shrimp, four crabs. Two crabs, not much here, that's uh, interesting. Three crabs. Looks like the bait caught a few crabs. The shrimp isn't doing a whole lot better. Oh, here we go. Good pot. Might have been on some off bottom. Who knows? The last couple pots didn't have many crabs in them. Might have been bottom. Might have been there good. Another good pot. We'll stick this uh, sock in there with the shrimp. Got it. Good luck getting that thing out. Here's another one. It's a bigger one. It'd be easier to put in. Good pot, good pot. Won't put so much bait in this next one. There you go. Get it in there. Yeah, that was a little easier to get in. Well, I wouldn't say it was... Didn't work at all, but definitely uh, didn't have any more crabs. And once we get a little further down here, we're starting to see more crabs with the shrimp. So who knows? Always something fun, something to look at, different, whatever. Try. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing. 
Back down here, we put them socks filled with shrimp heads in the pots to see how it would help hold the bait. If it help increase the catch by uh, keeping the bait from dissolving or if it'll hurt the catch, I have an idea. Oh, here we go. First one to come off. Looks real dirty. Two crabs in it. I can smell it from here. Woo, it stinks. It's bad. Real bad. Oh, Two smaller crabs. Shrimp are still pretty much intact. They're just rotten. Basically, super rotten. Shrimp are all intact, though. I mean, it kept them intact, but wouldn't, uh, wouldn't recommend that. Smells pretty much like puke. Well, there you have it. Don't go uh, raiding your sock drawer to make bait bags.